Hello everyone, welcome back to our online class. Today we will study self person singular present tense. My name is Si Hong, a teacher of English at Great Leap New Generation School. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use present tense with third person singular accurately, speak about routines of another person using third person singular present tense, and recognize and use both orally and in writing third person singular present tense verb. Let's move on and have a look at these three incorrect sentences. You can pause a video for a while and correct them all. I will give you the answers in a couple of minutes. Okay, well done everyone. Thank you so much for your hard work. And here are the answers. The correct answer uh, she loves her parents. Does Rata speak English well? Your baby cries too much. And go to another point which is very necessary. So can you guess who is this? He is a person, right? Great. Right. So what do we call he, she, it? A person or a thing, for example, uh, my sister, my father, my daughter, Mr. Sensismot, Mr. Sohmat, Mr. and my dog, my car, my laptop. What do we call all these things? Start with letter T. Okay, it, they are called third person singular. What do we use third person singular for? Yeah, third person singular is so necessary with the present simple. You can see the spelling rule here when we use third person singular with present simple. The verb will be changed. Rule number one, most of the word take S generally in the third person singular. As you can see example here, work. When we do with he, see it, or a singular person or thing, it will be changed to works, dance, dances, read, read, speak, speak. Rule number two, verbs ending in double S, SH, CH, X, and O. We will add ES at the end of the verb. For example, kiss, kisses, wash, washes, watch, watches, fix, fixes, do, become does. For example, she does her homework every night. Rule number three, verb ending in a consonant plus Y. We delete Y and we add IES. Let's have a look at the example. Study. Become studies. You can say we change Y to IES or you can say you delete Y and then add IES. Fly become flights. Cry, cries. Copy, copies. The last rule. 
verse ending in a vowel plus y, it always take s at the end of the verb. For example, play, place, say, say, enjoy, enjoy, obey, obey. For example, she plays a piano very beautifully. Well, I hope everyone will understand the rules I have just presented to you all. Now I have some practice exercises for you. I'd like you to fill in the blanks with the appropriate forms of the given verbs in the bracket. You can write them in your notebook and you can also pause the video for a while again. We will check the answer together. You have at least five more minutes. Number one, your sister do homework after school every day. So what do you put? Number two, Papa watch her favorite program every Saturday. Number three, Rhea wash his hair every day. Number four, Dr. Na have a rich and handsome boyfriend. She is lucky, isn't she? Number five, my dog bark lovely, loudly every night. Number six, uh, my father not talk much. Number seven, your baby cry too much. And what is your answer for number one? And here is the answer. Does your sister do homework at the school every day? Why you does instead of do here? Because your sister is a third person singular. No. Number two. The answer is watches. Bupa watches her favorite program every day. That is her habitual action. She always watches the program she likes every Saturday. Number three, washes. Vera washes his hair every day. Number four. The answer is has Ratana has a rich and handsome boyfriend. Number five. Barks my dog barks loudly every night. Number six. My father doesn't or does not talk much. This is the negative form of present simple with third person singular. And the last one, your baby cries too much. So which rule is it? What rule number is it? We chain Y or we drop Y and then we add IS. And you can get back to the video and watch it again. And thank you so much for your participation and cooperation. And uh, wait, I have a homework for you to enjoy. So I want you all to write five sentences about one of your family members. 
Yeah, it can be your father, it can be your mother, your sister, your brother. Yeah. By using third person singular present tense. For example, my brother speaks English fluently. My sister works at the Royal Palace. Yeah. So let's enjoy it. Last but not least, thank you for your participation. Stay clean, healthy, and safe during the COVID-19 global pandemic. Good luck.